Hillary Diane Rodham Clinton is an American politician, diplomat, and former lawyer who served as the 67th United States Secretary of State for President Barack Obama from 2009 to 2013, as a united Hillary Clinton, in full Hillary Rodham Clinton, born October 26, 1947, Chicago, Illinois, U.S. American lawyer and politician who served as a U.S. Senator, 2001-09, and Secretary of State, 2009-13, in, the administration of President Barack Obama. She had served as First Lady, 1993-2001, during the administration of her husband, Bill Clinton, 42nd President of the United States. The Democratic Party's nominee for President in 2016, she became the first woman to top the presidential ticket of a major party in the United States. The first president's wife born after World War II, Hillary was the eldest child of Hugh and Dorothy Rodham. She grew up in Park Ridge, Illinois, a Chicago suburb, where her father's textile business provided the family with a comfortable income. Her parents' emphasis on hard work and academic excellence set high standards. A student leader in public schools, she was active in youth programs at the First United Methodist Church. Although she later became associated with liberal causes, during this time she adhered to the Republican Party of her parents. She campaigned for Republican presidential candidate Barry Goldwater in 1964 and chaired the local chapter of the Young Republicans. A year later, after she enrolled at Wellesley College, her political views began to change. Influenced by the assassinations of Malcolm X, Robert F. Kennedy, and Martin Luther King, Jr., she joined the Democratic Party and volunteered in the presidential campaign of anti-war candidate Eugene McCarthy. After her graduation from Wellesley in 1969, Hillary entered Yale Law School, where she came under the influence of Yale alumna Marion Wright Edelman, a lawyer and children's rights advocate. Through her work with Edelman, she developed a strong interest in family law and issues affecting children. Although Hillary met Bill Clinton at Yale, they took separate paths after graduation in 1973. He returned to his native Arkansas, and she worked with Edelman in Massachusetts for the Children's Defense Fund. In 1974 Hillary participated in the Watergate inquiry into the possible impeachment of President Richard M. Nixon. When her assignment ended with Nixon's resignation in August 1974, she made what some people consider the crucial decision of her life. She moved to Arkansas. She taught at the University of Arkansas School of Law, and, following her marriage to Bill Clinton on October 11, 1975, she joined the prominent Rose Law Firm in Little Rock, Arkansas, where she later became a partner. After Bill was elected governor of Arkansas in 1978, she continued to pursue her career and retained her maiden name, until 1982, bringing considerable criticism from voters who felt that her failure to change her name indicated a lack of commitment to her husband. Their only child, Chelsea Victoria, was born in 1980. Throughout Bill's tenure as governor, 1979-81, 1983-92, Hillary worked on programs that aided children and the disadvantaged. She also maintained a successful law practice. She served on the boards of several high-profile corporations and was twice named one of the nation's 100 most influential lawyers, 1988-1991, by the National Law Journal. She also served as chair of the Arkansas Education Standards Committee and founded the Arkansas Advocates for Children and Families. She was named Arkansas Woman of the Year in 1983 and Arkansas Young Mother of the Year in 1984. In Bill's 1992 presidential campaign, Hillary played a crucial role by greeting voters, giving speeches, and serving as one of her husband's chief advisors. Her appearance with him on the television news program 60 Minutes in January 1992 made her name a household word. Responding to questions about Bill's alleged 12-year sexual relationship with an Arkansas woman, Jennifer Flowers, Bill and Hillary discussed their marital problems, and Hillary told voters to judge her husband by his record, adding that, if they did not like what they saw, then, heck, don't vote for him with a professional career unequaled by any previous presidential candidate's wife. Hillary was heavily scrutinized. Conservatives complained that she had her own agenda, because she had worked for some liberal causes. 
During one campaign stop, she defended herself from such criticism by asserting that she could have stayed home and baked cookies. This impromptu remark was picked up by the press and used by her critics as evidence of her lack of respect for women who are full-time homemakers. Some of Hillary's financial dealings raised suspicions of impropriety and led to major investigations after she became first lady. Her investment in Whitewater, a real estate development in Arkansas, and her commodities trading in 1978-79, through which she reportedly turned a $1,000 investment into $100,000 in a few months, came under close scrutiny. During the 1992 campaign, Bill Clinton sometimes spoke of it over two for the price of one presidency, implying that Hillary would play an important role in his administration. Early indications from the Clinton White House supported this interpretation. She appointed an experienced staff and set up her own office in the West Wing, an unprecedented move. Her husband appointed her to head the Task Force on National Health Care, a centerpiece of his legislative agenda. She encountered sharp criticism when she closed the sessions of the task force to the public, and doctors and other healthcare professionals objected that she was not a government official and had no right to bar them from the proceedings. An appeals court later supported her stand, ruling that presidents' wives have a long-standing tradition of public service acting as advisors and personal representatives of their husbands. To promote the findings of the task force, she appeared before five congressional committees and received considerable and mostly favorable press coverage for her expertise on the subject. But Congress ultimately rejected the task force's recommendations, and her role in the health care debate galvanized conservatives and helped Republicans recapture Congress in the 1994 elections. Hillary was criticized on other matters as well, including her role in the firing of seven staff members from the White House Travel Office, Travelgate, and her involvement in legal maneuvering by the White House during the Whitewater investigation. As the 1996 election approached, she was less visible and played a more traditional role as First Lady. Her first book, It Takes a Village, and Other Lessons, Children Teach Us, 1996, described her views on child rearing and prompted accolades from supporters and stark criticism from her opponents. Revelations about President Clinton's affair with White House intern Monica Lewinsky brought the First Lady back into the spotlight in a complex way. She stood faithfully by her husband during the scandal, in which her husband first denied and then admitted to having had a sexual relationship with Lewinsky, and throughout his ensuing impeachment and trial in the Senate. In 1999 Hillary Rodham Clinton made history of a different sort when she launched her candidacy for the U.S. Senate seat from New York being vacated by Daniel Patrick Moynihan. To meet the state's residency requirement, she moved out of Washington, D.C., on January 5, 2000, to a house that she and the president purchased in Chappaqua, New York. After a bitter campaign, she defeated Republican Rick Lazio by a substantial margin to become the first First Lady to win elective office. Although often a subject of controversy, Hillary showed that the ceremonial parts of the First Lady's job could be merged with a strong role in public policy and that the clout of the First Lady could be converted into a personal political power base. Senate and 2008 presidential run sworn into office on January 3, 2001, Senator Clinton continued to push for health care reform, and she remained an advocate for children. She served on several senatorial committees, including the Committee for Armed Services. Following the September 11 attacks in 2001, she supported the U.S.-led invasion of Afghanistan but grew highly critical of President George W. Bush's handling of the Iraq War. In 2003 Hillary's much-anticipated memoir of her White House years, Living History, was published and set sales records. She had received an advance of about $8 million for the book. In 2006 she was easily re-elected to the Senate. In July of 2016, Hillary Rodham Clinton became the first woman in history to represent a major party in a United States presidential election. She is also the first woman to win the Iowa Presidential Caucus, the first First Lady elected to the United States Senate, and the first female senator from New York. Hillary Diane Rodham was born in a suburb outside of Chicago, Illinois in 1947 to middle-class parents. 
They encouraged her to take education seriously, and she earned entrance to Massachusetts Wellesley College. Her parents were Republicans and Clinton served as president of Wellesley's Republican Club, but the social issues of the late 1960s led her to become a dedicated Democrat. When her classmate selected her as Wellesley's first student speaker at graduation, she said to her peers, the challenge now is to practice politics as the art of making what appears to be impossible, possible. In 1969, Clinton attended Yale Law School, where she served on the board of editors for the Yale Review of Law and Social Action. It was there that Clinton met her future husband, William Bill Clinton. After she graduated, Clinton turned down offers from lucrative law firms to work for the Children's Defense Fund, as well as on the Congressional Committee that investigated the Watergate scandal. Clinton then moved to the university town of Fayetteville, Arkansas, where she joined the faculty of the University of Arkansas Law School. In 1975 she and Bill Clinton were married. The following year, Clinton joined the Rose Law Firm in Little Rock. The couple's daughter, Chelsea, was born in 1980. In 1988 and 1991, Clinton was named one of the 100 most influential lawyers in America. Clinton continued to practice law after Bill Clinton became governor of Arkansas, while also serving as a very active first lady. She led the Arkansas Educational Standards Committee, which greatly improved schools and promoted programs that benefit women. In 1992, when Bill Clinton was elected president, Clinton became the first first lady to hold a law degree. She continued her tradition of public service, most notably leading an attempt to reform the nation's health care. However, the effort failed in the mid-1990s. Clinton continued to work on the edges of the issue, helping to establish the 1997 Children's Health Insurance Program. Clinton constantly traveled during her time as First Lady. She often took her daughter along when she visited women in Africa and Asia, and in 1995, she was criticized for joining the American delegation to Beijing for the United Nations Conference on Women's Rights. This convocation had been held every five years since 1975, but no First Lady had attended it. Clinton ran in 2000 for the New York Senate seat being vacated by Daniel Monaghan, who supported her. Many accused her of being a carpetbagger because she had never lived in New York, but voters chose her by a solid 55% majority. She served on four major Senate committees, Armed Services, Budget, Environment and Public Works, and Health, Education, Labor and Pensions. New Yorkers gained confidence in her, and Clinton easily won her 2006 re-election. On January 20, 2007, Clinton announced her candidacy for president and joined the historic 2008 race. Although Clinton received roughly 18 million votes, she lost in the Democratic primary to Senator Barack Obama, who went on to win the presidency. Clinton served as Secretary of State for the Obama administration from 2009 to 2013. During this time, Clinton focused on women and human rights. On April 12, 2015, Clinton announced her second run for the Democratic presidential nomination. Vermont's independent senator, Bernie Sanders, mounted an unexpectedly strong challenge. In July of 2016, Clinton secured the nomination at the Democratic National Convention in Philadelphia and became the first woman in history to represent a major party in a U.S. presidential election. Though she won the popular vote 48.2% to 46.1%, she lost the presidential race to her Republican opponent, Donald Trump, in the electorate.